Hey, Bo here. I needed to make another birthday card and um, I thought before I got started, I was gonna show you how I got some uh, watercolor paper. Usually I buy the big sheets at Hobby Lobby and I cut them down to about four by six. But I saw these on Amazon. These are 120 for $15 pre-cut and it's a, it's a big stack. And so I'm gonna give that a try today. It'll be the face of my card. Uh, now, the person that is having a birthday lives here in Texas, and so I'm going to do a cactus card. I did one prior. I did a practice one, and I liked it pretty well, and I'm going to try to just do a little better. And uh, I didn't care for my flowers that I did, but I ended up kind of cheating and pulling out, I think I used just a red marker. And I think that's what I'm gonna change and do. I think I'm gonna make the little prickles a little smaller. I got some Micron pens that are a little smaller, like there's a, a 003, um, and, and, and that'll be a lot smaller prickles. So I'm gonna make those kind of changes, but I'm basically gonna make this card, this is gonna be my template. And so we'll be trying out a couple of things. So again, I still have my happy birthday stamp on here and it's part of this set you would normally uh stamp wishing you a happy birthday but i saw somebody online use a think outside the box beyond me i don't think outside the box and she just used part of a sticker she actually cut hers off but i'm not gonna cut off the u a words i'm just gonna not stamp them so that I can, because uh, I don't, I don't want to have to re-space it. And then I'm stamping first so that I don't get my cactus too high. And I need a little tape here because there is a little bit of a bow in my paper. And it's kind of bowing up and I'm afraid I'm going to kind of tap it twice. So let's just, I just eyeball it. Actually, my card, these are my edges. My middle should be right about there. There we go. Okay. So I'm just gonna kinda space out a little bit the little hill, just ever so lightly the hill. These are prickly pear cactus, and they're really just flat pads. Um, and they're not quite ovals, but I usually just visualize the base. And this is uh, going to be kind of the, the, the little mom, the mom of them all. And then they branch off kind of with the same little base, and a lot of times they're kind of off-center. And I just love these little cactuses. They they grow wild. Uh, they're all over Texas. And the interesting thing is, if you don't see the obvious prickles, don't touch it. Still don't touch it. It's got little ones. I, I think one of the worst things would be to fall into a patch of these because they're like invisible little stickers. And then there's one there. I mean, I really liked, I liked the way I did this uh, particular one. This is just kind of going to be my uh, basic for visual. And then we'll just have some flowers on these. And I think that's balanced enough. And, um, okay. So there's my basic. All right, so I'm gonna use green. So let's just get this going here. Okay, I, I like that green. I like that green pretty well. And I'm 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this whole little cactus wet. And because it's on watercolor paper, it'll smear the color better. It will um, allow you to blend. So let's do a little bit more. I found a little red paper left over from Christmas, which I thought would bring in the red flowers from the cactus. And I think it looks really nice. I really like this scene. So I'm going to glue this on and then glue it onto the card. And I think it's really got some nice pop. So let's get it all put together. So here we go, a little cactus card for my friend here in Texas. It's her birthday, and I think it turned out wonderful. I love the simplicity. It's certainly very easy. I love all the individual little um, stickies 
on the cactus and she looks like a healthy cactus on top of it all. And it's just very simple and easy. And the red border really did well to match this. And if you change the bloom colors, maybe if you have a different background color, you could match the flowers to it versus the way I did it, which is matching the background to the red flowers. You can do whatever you want. So I hope you will uh, give us a like, go ahead and subscribe. Certainly pop a comment down below and share the card that you've made. See you soon.